lawmakers continue to push through the legislative process as one week remains before the legislative spring break. The Missouri House gave approval to a proposal requiring Missouri driver's examinations to only be offered in English. Currently, the state offers the exam in 11 languages other than English. Supporters say all drivers need to be able to understand all signs and directions while on Missouri roads. I think it's good that people are able to read those and understand them quickly because when you're going down the road at, at highway speeds, you need to understand in a relatively short order you know, what obstacles there are out there that you have to negotiate. Opponents don't agree. They argue the proposal places a roadblock in front of legal immigrants. We're going to put a roadblock in front of that person and say, you stop here. You can't participate. We're isolating them. We're telling them that we don't care about them and that they are not welcome here. Despite vocal opposition, lawmakers approved the proposal with more than 100 yes votes. The bill now moves to the Senate for consideration. Lawmakers approved a proposal aiming to help those in the timber industry. House Bill 112 changes the property classification of sawmills and planning mills to agricultural property instead of commercial property. The classification change gives a tax break to those in the timber business fighting to stay afloat in this tough economy. Lawmakers approved the proposal with more than 115 yes votes. The Missouri House also approved a constitutional amendment guaranteeing an individual's right to pray in public. The proposal now moves to the Senate for consideration. If approved by the Senate, the proposal must be approved by the voters before becoming law. With one week remaining until the start of the legislative spring break, the Speaker of the House is pleased with the House's progress. When we leave spring break, we'll have what I believe over 70% of the Show Me Solutions initiative done before the 50th legislative day. We'll have all five of the six, fix the six, and maybe the sixth one, depending on, on what happens with that bill and rules. And uh, we'll be prepared to go to the budget, probably the, if the majority leader wants to, the week after we return from session. The legislative spring break begins March 17th upon adjournment. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jonathan Lorenz.